shui is an ancient Chinese art of placement, and it is used to facilitate the qi energy in homes, gardens, offices, etc. Good feng shui will enhance your life by bringing harmony and balance in your surroundings. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina, and as some of you guys know, I was born and raised in China. So I'm very familiar with the Chinese culture and history. Feng Shui is something that I have been aware of and certainly interested in for a really long time. And it's something that I use and practice in my home. In this video, I will be sharing the feng shui tips that I use in my home and hopefully it will give you some ideas on how you can incorporate it in your home to attract the things that you want. Now let's get started. Okay, the most interesting thing that I would like you to take away is to figure out the energy map in your home. So every home has a place of money, a place of love and marriage, health, career and education and other things as well. So if there's something that you would like to focus on or improve in your life, then definitely find out where that is in your home. So for example, the place of money is in the southeast corner of every home. And in my home, that corresponds to the entryway. According to the energy map, for place of money, it's good to incorporate wood elements and the color green. And if you've seen my entryway, the entire color palette is in this greenish sea foamy color uh, from the door to the carpet to the art on the wall. I actually did this without knowing that my entryway is my place of money. I actually made a video on my entryway makeover and after I made that video, it got a ton of views and it brought me a lot of subscribers. So just by decorating my entryway in a way that aligns with feng shui, it directly brought me wealth. Okay, while we are in the entryway, uh, one thing I want to mention is the placement of the mirror. So when I was considering where to put the mirror, uh, I had two options. One is its current location, and then the other one is on the wall across from the door. Now, if I were to place my mirror on this wall, it would actually be really bad feng shui. If I had a mirror directly facing the door, every time I open the door, I would immediately see my own reflection and that would be a really jarring experience. And in feng shui, if you have a mirror directly facing the door, it actually means all the energy are being directed away from your home and that's something you definitely don't want. Okay, now let's move on to the place of love and marriage. So the place of love and marriage is in the southwest corner of your home. And in my home, that corresponds to my bathroom. This is actually very, very tricky because my bathroom is usually very dirty. It's the place that I often disregard when it comes to cleaning. Uh, and we have hair all over the floor and a considerable amount of mold in the shower. But it's very clean right now because I did a deep clean yesterday. All I'm trying to say is that my past behavior are terrible, terrible for feng shui, uh, especially if I were to attract love into my life. But if I were to improve it, I would incorporate colors of pink, uh, inspiring artworks that symbolizes love, and also use some room fragrance to make the place smell really good, which I'm already doing because I got this diffuser from Amazon, and it just makes the whole place smell like cherry blossoms. And now whenever I go into my bathroom, I just feel like I'm in this really high-end place, which makes me feel really happy. So yeah, wherever your place of love and marriage is, definitely keep it really tidy, clean, fresh, smelling good, and incorporate inspiring artworks. Okay, before I go, uh, one thing that you want to do is always keep your toilet lid closed so that the dirty particles doesn't travel to things like your towels and your toothbrush. And then the last feng shui tip related to toilet is that you want to keep the door of your washroom closed when you're not using it. Now, speaking of clean and tidy, having a spacious, Clutter-free home is definitely good feng shui because having an open space is just really good for the flow of energy. My interpretation of feng shui is basically how your surrounding affects you. When your surrounding is nurturing and inspiring, it's going to create internal changes in your relationship with yourself and with others. Now, the placement of the bed is also very important in feng shui. Number one, you want to be in the commanding position in a room, which means when you're sleeping or when you're lying down, you can very easily see the door, but without directly facing it. 
And number two is that you want to have a really solid headboard and you also want the bed to be leaning against uh, a very solid sturdy wall. And this is because you're often leaning against the headboard, you're leaning against the wall. And it just kind of symbolizes having something to lean on that translates into having a good support system in your life. If you don't have a headboard or if your bed is not against a wall, according to Feng Shui, you might have a hard time uh, finding people that support you, that help you along the way, and life can be kind of difficult. And number three, if you want to attract a partner into your life, it's good to have a double bed instead of a twin bed, and also have two nightstands on each side, and also having matching lights. Because this just means you're making room for another person in your life. Okay, number four is that you don't want to have a lot of clutter underneath your bed. It doesn't mean you can't have under the bed storage because a lot of people do have that, myself included. Uh, it just means you don't want to have too much, like you don't want to have too much excess or anything that you will never use. Uh, what you're doing if you're, ha you're having a lot of clutter is you're basically sleeping on top of a pile of negative energy and that's something you don't want. What you can do is uh, to have like very neatly organized pile of clothing or linens or even have your valuable items stored underneath your bed because that way you're basically sleeping on top of your wealth which is something we all want. And lastly, there are some things that are always good for feng shui such as crystals, fresh flowers, plants, and pleasant scents. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave in the comments below if there's any feng shui tips that you would like to share with me. And let me know if there's any feng shui tips that you are going to incorporate in your life after watching this video. I'm Tina Tomato. I make videos on home decor, minimalism, small space living, and personal development. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week. Bye!